Good morning, rock stars, and thank you so much for joining me for this slightly impromptu, slightly not entirely impromptu free motion quilting slash free motion quilting academy Q&A session. So for those of you who are new to String and Story, my name is Holly Ann Knight. It is my job to guide you to quilt with confidence. And I'm really, really excited because right now we are in the midst of our final Free Motion Quilting Academy enrollment for the year. In fact, Free Motion Quilting Academy, when enrollment closes this time, will not come back until summer 2022. And because I am absolutely on fire to make sure as many rock stars as possible learn how to confidently and skillfully finish their own quilts, I wanna make sure that I am meeting with you today and just simply talking about free motion quilting, and of course, talking about the academy as well. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are here, whether you're joining me on YouTube or on Facebook, um, I would be delighted if you said hi in the chat so that I can greet you. Um, and if you have questions, like I said, about the academy or just about free motion quilting, I am here to answer those. Um, part of the reason that I wanted to do this today is because inside Free Motion Quilting Academy, we have weekly Q&A sessions. Now, week in and week out in the academy, that happens inside our private Facebook group. Um, and I put up a graphic on Wednesdays that says, hey, do you have any questions? And you have the opportunity to ask all your questions ahead of time about what we've been learning. And then I have the opportunity to answer them on camera. So I thought today it would be fun to give you a little bit of a taste of that and of the engagement that we can have together um, so that you know a little bit more about what it's like to be in the academy and get free motion quilting support from me. Yay! Um, also, I have to be very excited for a moment about the Team Rockstar shirts. Um, we just got these in, Heather and I. Ta-da! We just got these in in anticipation of the Duluth Fall Festival, and uh, we decided it would be fun to wear them today. Maybe take, ooh, sorry, I bumped you guys. Maybe take a few photos. So anyway, I'm just excited about them. Good morning, Jan. I am so delighted that you are here. As I said, if you are jumping on, do please say hi in the chat. I'm going to take just a moment, and I'm going to jump on Facebook. Ooh, let me make sure that I'm not about to create an audio issue. Um, and I want to share this. Good morning, Christine and Frida and Kathy and others. Um, I want to make sure I share this into the Quilting Rockstars so that folks can come hang out. Yay. All right. I know that some of you guys who are here are in Free Motion Quilting Academy. So if you are in Free Motion Quilting Academy, um, Rebecca, my love, it's so good to see you. Um, I would love to hear about your experience. So if you would drop that in the chat and just share about your, what you've loved about Free Motion Quilting Academy, the difference that it's made for you, that would be super, super valuable. Now, I did get a couple of questions um, ahead of time. Let me grab a link from my blog because it's gonna be relevant. Um, I got a couple of questions ahead of time that I want to make sure that I address. So first of all, as I was just talking to folks who are currently in the Academy, um, if you are in Free Motion Quilting Academy and you did not graduate, on Saturday, this past Saturday, we had our end of summer graduation and you are continuing with the next cohort. As a reminder, you do not need to do anything. All right, sit tight. All you need to do is sit tight. Um, we were gonna have a couple of weeks now as we are getting everyone into class, then it'll be kind of quiet in the Facebook group unless you chat amongst yourselves. Um, but as we kick off new student orientation on September 13th, um, you'll begin to get the emails again, all right? Um, Academy students who have graduated, you will not get all the update emails because you know I'm assuming that you don't necessarily want all of the extra info from me since you've already completed the course. Um, but for those of you who did not graduate, sit tight. You do not need to sign up again. You do not need to let me know that you're continuing. I assume that you're continuing. Um, and you don't need to pay anything extra. That's the beauty of lifetime access is you don't need to pay anything extra in order to keep going with us, all right? Um, oh, Suzanne, I love that. Suzanne says, Free Motion Quilting Academy is a game changer. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Rebecca, I love that you share this. So I don't love that you use the word stupid because I think a better word is introductory or beginner level, right? Um, but that's true. A very important part of Free Motion Quilting Academy, and hopefully you guys got a little taste of this last week, with the Tension Without Tension Masterclass. Um, wherever you're watching me, whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube, if you have not watched that masterclass yet, go catch that replay this weekend. I packed it full of tips and tricks about getting ready to free motion quilt, getting your tension set up, and I talk a lot about the academy as well, all right? Um, but Rebecca brings up a very important point that hopefully you experienced a bit in the Tension Without Tension Masterclass, and hopefully you're learning just from us getting to hang out together. Um, the String and Story is absolutely the safe place to be a beginner. And it's absolutely the place to ask questions that we sort of kind of feel like maybe we should know the answer to, but we don't. Like, 
how do I bury my thread ends, right? That's a great question to be asking as you're getting started. And it's one of the things that we talk about early on in the lessons of the academy. And I also have a tutorial on YouTube, heads up. Um, yes, and exactly. So Rebecca, the, <laughs> I love that you're, you're self-correcting the word stupid. I think that's perfect. Because I, I don't want us to give our inner critic any fuel, right? I don't want us to give that inner mean grump, our IMG, and you feel like, oh, that was a stupid question, because it's not, right? But Rebecca is exactly right that not only am I eager and waiting for your beginner level questions, but so are your fellow rock stars. Um, that's part of the beauty of lifetime access as well as you've got an established Facebook group full of folks who are also learning to free motion quilt and many of whom um, who, who have completed the course, right? And they're there to help and rock stars love to help other rock stars. It's very, very, very exciting, okay? Um, another question that I have gotten, and this is where I went to grab a link and I'm gonna just drop it in the chat. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about free motion quilting feet. And I did recently write a blog and recently as in like two days ago, write a blog all about this. I've got a little video tutorial for you guys and also some photos kind of broken out talking about different types of feet for free motion quilting. All right, your most common is gonna be a hopping foot. Do I have a hopping foot handy to show you? We shall see, here we go. Your most common is gonna be a hopping foot. It might look something like this if it's metal. Y'all know I'm always dropping things on the floor. Might be something like this if it's plastic, right? That's gonna be your most common foot. And then you're also gonna have like ruler work feet, glide feet, darning feet. These are all great options. They all do slightly different things. But if you've got a foot that came with your machine, it's probably a darning foot. And that can be a great place to start. Um, and then a hopping foot is usually an, a, an affordable next step, right? Uh, the most important thing when choosing a foot for free motion quilting is gonna be making sure that you have the right shank for your foot. So typically machines are high shank or low shank. There are some vintage machines that will have a super high shank or a slant shake. Those are the two types of machines that it will be hardest to find a foot for, uh, but not impossible, right? Not impossible. And we'll find something to get you started and we can progress from there, right? Um, let's see, I see a few lovely comments. Jan says, oh my gosh, I loved it all. Um, I in no way thought that I could quilt, but a few weeks later, it was amazing. My friends in Hubster said, wow, what happened? My response was Free Motion Quilting Academy. Best thing ever. And guys, it continues through the guild and being a member of this group. It's a positive place to be. Oh, Jan, she says you work so hard and never stop. Um, I am doing a little bit of stopping this weekend. I will be at the beach this weekend. Um, I'll still be around because I know folks are signing up for the Academy and I don't want to leave anyone hanging, uh, but I will be getting some uh, restful hours as well. Uh, Cassandra says, I'm currently in Free Motion Quilting Academy. I'm enjoying my Free Motion Quilting journey. I'm working on my, I'm gonna guess that's fifth quilt, and I'm new at Free Motion Quilting and had bought a mid-arm and frame and took Free Motion Quilting Academy to learn, and it's awesome. Cassandra brings up a very great point. So she mentioned she has a mid-arm. I was just talking about feet for domestic machines. Whatever machine you have is the machine that you should be working on, all right? I don't want you to think that you need to go buy some new fancy machine in order to start learning Free Motion Quilting, okay? The best, best machine to learn on is the one you already have. I started on a $97 Singer um, that was a hand-me-down. No, not Singer, Kenmore. Then I moved up to like a $300 Singer that I bought on Amazon and I taught Free Motion Quilting Academy on that machine for many years. Um, and now I have a big old Juki and I have a long arm, right? I have options now, but that has been a journey. The most important thing right now is to get you started on your free motion quilting journey um, and help quiet that inner critic that says, there's no way you can do this. Because as Jan and Cassandra were just, um, were just sharing, you absolutely can. You absolutely can. What other free motion quilting questions can I help you guys with? I'm uh, popping over just to check on the do 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 do. Um, I shared this into the Quilting Rockstars Facebook group and I know sometimes the chat when you've shared something doesn't necessarily translate over. So I wanna make sure I don't miss anybody over there. Um, Christine says she's on a 330 Bernina. That is wonderful. Yeah, what machines are you guys on? Great question. Jan says there's no stupid questions in this group. Everyone is very helpful and caring. Yes, yes, yes. That is one of the most important values of Free Motion Quilting Academy and of the quilting rock stars in general. Annie, welcome from Scotland. I'm so delighted. Ooh, are you our first Scott? You might be. We've had a couple of new countries sign up. So some of y'all will remember uh, Free Motion Quilting Academy this summer. I think we had 12 countries represented. That's something that we will celebrate next Tuesday. So the last day of Free Motion Quilting Academy enrollment is Tuesday the 7th. 
and um, which is going to sneak up on us, especially here in the U.S. with the holiday weekend, right? And um, one of the things that we do is the very last night, um, the very last night of enrollment, we do a welcome party and we celebrate everyone who has signed up and joined. And I love to honor how many different countries are represented because we are truly a global community. It's really exciting. Um, Carolyn says the Academy has changed the life of the 71 year old newbie. I've always wanted to be a rock star. I thought that meant singing on a stage. Who knew it would be quilting? Carolyn, I love that. I love how quilting can take us on unexpected uh, paths. I knew I wanted to be a teacher. I thought it was going to be in a middle school English classroom. I didn't know it was going to be teaching quilting. Like how awesome is that? Um, Terry, if you emailed hello, then I'm assuming we got your email, but I have not personally been in that inbox yet this morning. So hang tight. I will check it soon. Um, Kate Brennan says, I just finished Remotion Quilting Academy and find that I'm designing tops differently as I'm now wanting more negative space for motifs. Ooh, Kate, I love that. I love that. I've spotted that with a few things you've shared lately, but I didn't know it was directly connected. Um, let's see. Shane has a baby like Jazz. Jim works on her gamma long arm. Christina saving for a Bernina 770, um, which uh, brings up another really fabulous point, right? The machine that I want you to start on is the machine that you have. If you fall in love with free motion quilting, you can always choose to save and upgrade later, but you don't need to do that before you begin your free motion quilting journey. Carla says, I'm on a Janome 9450, but started the class on a cheap singer. I haven't graduated yet, but I free motion quilt everything in sight. Yay! Sue, hello, my love. Kate Brennan's on her 770, another Bernina gal. The Bernina squad is strong. Y'all are, y'all are always strong. I'm on a Juki. I've been on a singer and a Kenmore, and then I have a handy quilter long arm for what that is worth, um, which I hope gives you a little snippet of the variety of machines. Sandy has on a Janome 9450. Fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. All right. So for those of you who are joining and you're like, all right, you're talking about Promotion Quilting Academy, but like, what is Promotion Quilting Academy? Um, Promotion Quilting Academy is my signature 12 week course that guides you from being a nervous beginner free motion quilter to a confident intermediate quilter. I'm turning on my machine because I want to force myself to finish this binding at some point this morning. <laughs> um, and we enroll generally a couple times a year. This year has been a little bit unusual that we've had three cohorts go through, which is wonderful. Um, but part of my sense of additional passion uh, this time around is I know that Free Motion Quilting Academy is not going to be launching again until summer 2022. And I don't, um, I don't want you to miss out. You know, I don't want you to miss out. And so I love being able to be here and talk about the class um, and help you decide if it's the right fit for you. So if you're here and you've been watching this and you're like, this sounds really interesting, but like, I don't know, ask the questions, like ask the nitty gritty questions. I'm here for that. And he says, I have a new to me Bernina 820QE with a walking foot and a BSR foot that I've never used. I'm frightened. Um, Annie, I can set you free on the BSR for what that's worth. I don't use a stitch regulator on my domestic, if that's helpful. Venetia has a brother PQ 1500 SL. Ooh, Jan, I love this. Jan says, my advice is to do the course. You can and will do it. And no hurry, no worries, no rush on your time. If you don't get into this course, you'll have to wait till next summer 2022. Just with the first motifs, you're on your way to quilting your own quilts and can continue to learn. It's the best course I took. I have a handy quilter long arm and I do love it. I have the Dookie TL18. I want to try to play with it. It's a great course. Oh, love that. We've got a Husqvarna and a mega quilter. Um, Oh yes, Maureen. So Maureen says, can you put together a video of bloopers? In the previous videos, you've had some mistakes and showed us how to work around them. This is just as valuable. So Maureen, great question. My best recommendation if you're wanting to see bloopers is anytime I'm live, come hang out with me. So I've been trying to be live on YouTube on Fridays. I will miss tomorrow because I'm going to be out of town. Um, but I've been trying to be live on Fridays doing free motion quilting Fridays at least a couple of times a month. Um, and then those of you who are in the guild, you know that you get me for social hour very frequently. But um, I free motion quilt live on camera because bloopers are very real. Um, thread breaks, thread shutting, uh, tension issues, um, dropping things on the floor, <laughs> like all the things, right? Uh, and I love being able to be live and share that. Um, in fact, some of you guys who have watched the new Free Motion Quilting Academy video, so we refilmed Free Motion Quilting Academy in March of this year. So this will be the second cohort uh, that will go through with the newly professionally filmed videos. And there are a few times in there where we have bloopers and we left them in. And I remember talking to um, John, not my John, John, my uh, 
videographer and being like, no, we need to leave that in because it's important um, for, for quilters worldwide to know that free motion quilting doesn't magically become like not glitchy just because like it's my job and I'm a teacher, right? Like I'm still working with a machine. I'm still a whole human. Stuff still goes wrong <laughs> all the time. And I will teach you best practices and I will teach you how to get around it and all shall be well. And your quilt will not be ruined. That's the most important thing. So Maureen, I love that you bring this up, the value of recognizing that, um, you know, there can be bloopers, there can be errors, there can be mistakes, but the quilt is not ruined. In fact, to that end, let me hold up the quilt that I'm binding right now. All right, I'm gonna hold it up here first. Isn't this texture fabulous? We love this texture, right? We've got some meanders down here. We've got lots of switchbacks, et cetera, et cetera. It looks fab, right? All right, let me get a little closer. Please notice how wonky these switchbacks are, right? Um, this is the first uh, quilt that I have semi-custom quilted on my new Handy Quilter um, Moxie Longarm. And so the Moxie and I were working out a lot of glitches together on this quilt. And as someone uh, who low-key prides myself on my very even uh, switchbacks, I wasn't a big fan, honestly. Like working on this, this, it was a little bit of a brain twist for me until I stepped back from it. And I was like, you know, I really should take the advice that I give my rock stars more often and take a step back and realize that it, lo it looks fine. Like as soon as you're like, okay, so this is, y'all are a foot away from it. You can see all the things, right? You're three feet away from it. It looks much more just like texture. <sighs> Incredible. Kate, I know I have a, lo a quilt to long arm for you, fear not. Part of the reason that I have not uh, worked on it yet is because I'm gonna make sure that I have mastered my new long arm before I start on your masterpiece. Um, Jan says, Helene is so encouraging as, a as, um, as is the Rockstar Facebook group. If you have any problems or questions, someone can and will help you. You're never left stranded. Oh, you're never left stranded. That is such a good word, Jan. That's always my goal. Gail says, I just finished uh, custom quilting a quilt top on the HQ Amara. I never thought I would love my long arm and that I could do free motion quilting. Sue says, free motion quilting academy will knock your socks off. You'll see quilting motifs everywhere, even in your coffee cup. But the magic, you'll have the skill to put them on your quilt. Oh, Sue, I love that. Sue is an OG free motion quilting academy queen. Sue, were you the first cohort or second cohort? We're on cohort number eight for context. Like... Sue, Sue is an OG rock star. Um, yay, yay, yay. Oh, hang on. Hey, Hillary. I lost my spot in the chat. Hang on. Here we go. Um, I have both the chat from YouTube and Facebook up on my screen. So that's why I'm reading everything out loud because I know you can't see uh, everything. This quilt is Lanterns of Hope. So Glenda, this is one of my patterns. Um, you can get the pattern in my shop, stringandstory.com forward slash shop shameless plug. Um, so you can get the pattern if you want to make your own. We also have panels. So this is the same quilt, but as a panel, this is the spring summer colorway. Um, and then there's also a fall winter colorway and I've got coordinating solids and coordinating thread and coordinating stickers, all the things. It's very exciting. <laughs> um, Suzanne says, I have an old Bernina and a much older singer. Those are such great machines. Marie says, I learned the beginning three motion quilt with a bar foot. Don't worry, plug it in and go. Yes. So Maureen, okay, so Maureen's like, okay, but FMQ Friday, I'm at work. This The magic of replays, the magic, magic, magic of replays. And Maureen, if you're watching the replay and you have a question, um, you can always leave a comment on YouTube. And I try to go through those comments a couple of times a week and answer people's questions. Because again, don't want you left stranded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, because sometimes you do get in the corner and you got to figure out what to do. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Jan. You are just going to inflate my ego. I'm going to float right away. Uh, Kathy says, I started in 2019. I still haven't graduated, but I've gone from never having machine quilts at anything to have done everything from baby quilts to queen size. And I'd be willing that I've been willing to give as gifts. Every learned skill added to my confidence and it's fun. Plus you get all these new friends. I'm going to be honest, Kathy. I don't know if you're allowed to graduate at this point because I really like you being around. You just have to promise to be like Sue and not actually go anywhere. You know, I I've just, yeah. Don't leave. Laura, I'm totally going to talk you into Free Motion Quilting Academy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Terry. The boys coming in and saying goodnight in their underwear. Who was there? 
I'm going to actually be kind of embarrassed if any of you were there. Do any of you remember the time that I had to stop the video, like in a panic, I had to like cut it off because Ian ran in naked. <laughs> and y'all remember that video? We were live on Facebook and I was like, oh no. <laughs> yes, set the machine up on the dining room table. Oh, Cassandra, yes, there will be new classes coming for those of you who have been waiting. Yes, to a second cohort. Okay, brilliant. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm so thankful for replays. Time zones and work, man. If only we didn't have time zones and work, you know? Um, I will give Havana an ear scratch, Kathy. I dropped her off this morning. Exactly, Carrie. Little, little peach butt. Um, I dropped her off this morning at the lovely folks who keep her when we travel. And I cried. Because I she's my shadow. We're together all the time. She's my little bestie. And um, I don't normally cry when I drop her off. I'm normally okay. But it just really hit me today. Oh, shoot. I'm like getting misty. I'm thinking about it. Dang. So I will give her an ear scratch on Monday from you. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to do a little bit of this binding. Um, if you were with me yesterday in the guild, um, I should show you guys the funky corner. It definitely still came out funky and I missed the little spot. So I'm going to have to work on it. But y'all got to see me do a little corner, corner deck to me over here. Um, somehow I managed to not have quite enough fabric to flip over the corner and I had to trim it to make it work. Listen, not, here's the thing. We're, we're gonna have a real talk moment. We're gonna, let's have a couple of real talk moments. There's a couple of real talks we should have. Real talk number one, nothing I quilt is perfect. I am not an award-winning quilter. Maybe someday I will be, right? But at this point, I'm not an award-winning quilter. That's not my goal. My goal is to help you, if that is your goal, become an award-winning quilter, right? I'm a teacher. That's what I am. I am passionate about free motion quilting. I am a good free motion quilter. I know a lot of things about free motion quilting. I know a lot of ways to troubleshoot things when they go wrong because I have made all the mistakes. All the mistakes. Were any of y'all in my thread painting workshop like a year ago when like my machine, I didn't know it, but my machine really needed some service and we kept having thread breaks, right? Whew, it was a whole thing, right? Nothing I quilt is perfect. I'm not gonna pretend to you that it is. I am not a perfect quilter but I'm a very good teacher and it is my job. That's why my job is to guide you to quilt with confidence. All right. There are members of the quilting rock stars. There are folks who have gone through free motion quilting Academy who are award-winning quilters. Right. And that's my goal. That's what makes me excited because I love watching you go from, I can't to, Oh my gosh, I did it and got a freaking ribbon. Right. That's a big, it's a big leap. Um, my inner critic is probably the meanest. That's why I love taking on your inner critics because I'm like, no, no, we are not having that here, right? You are a rock star. I'm going to like fight for you to believe that all day long, all right? Oh, interrupting myself. Um, Rebecca, those time zones don't matter. Also, late night quilting is when you guys are online. That does work out really well, doesn't it, Rebecca? Um, so, bit number one. Bit number two, time and time zones, yeah. Um, this class is designed to accommodate you whatever season of life you're in, right? I first developed and taught this class with like a one and two year old at home. <laughs> this is the first time that I'm gonna be teaching this class that the kids are in school full time. <laughs> and I'm like, what is time? They're gone all day, what, right? Um, this class is designed so that if you can't catch anything live, you can still reap the benefits. And here's what I mean by that. The class itself is professionally pre-recorded. okay? So everyone is getting the same um, lessons. They've been professionally recorded, professionally edited so that you can see all the things, you're right up under my needle with me. It's super fun. The lives. I always try to take questions ahead of time so that if you know that you're not gonna be able to join me live, you've got some time to ask that question so I can answer it even if you're not there, right? And then there's a replay, right? And that replay is archived on Facebook, but it also for each cohort, their live Q and A's are archived in Kajabi as well. All right, um, because that matters. That matters to get to have access to that. As far as the schedule, I see Carrie says, can you make yourself, um, is it good to make yourself a daily practice schedule to work in practice? I already think I know the answer. Um, Carrie says, I think uh, you can make a schedule if that's what, what works for you. Whatever works, you have lifetime access. I usually told everyone I was doing my homework. I love that, Sue. Um, yeah, I think, I think a schedule could be really helpful. I think the other thing that is really helpful, Carrie, 
um, is to is to think about small chunks of time, right? Um, 15 minutes is really powerful. There's this um, incredible book by James Clear called Atomic Habits. This is this is another thing that you'll learn about me. I'm constantly giving book recommendations. So hopefully you like audiobooks. None of them are required reading. I just love giving book recommendations. Uh, so there's this fabulous book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And he talks about the value of 1% change, right? If you improve by 1%, that's not very much, each day for a year, that's 365% improvement. That's a really big deal, right? That adds up. So I think the other thing, Carrie, is um, one of the schedules helpful. Absolutely, do that. Uh, two, don't feel like you need to be uh, blocking off two hours a day, right? Block off 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, right? Um, watch the video while you're washing dishes. You know, put your phone, put your iPad in the window cell while you're washing dishes, and then go practice for 15, 20 minutes, right? Carry a doodle pad with you, right? You're stuck in line trying to check out the groceries. You can be sitting there with your little doodle pad being like, no worries, I'm practicing my meander. No worries, I'm practicing my ribbon candy, right? That adds up. Um, for those of you who have kids or grandkids, uh, when I was learning how to free motion quilt, the way that I practiced is I would tell the kids it was coloring time and I would sit there and doodle my free motion quilting motifs while they were, you know, scribbling and eating crayons as little kids do, right? Um, I feel like there was something else about time I was gonna say. Oh yes, finally, you have lifetime access, right? So if you don't finish on the schedule of 12 weeks, that's okay, you keep going. The average Free Motion Quilting Academy Rockstar takes two cohorts to graduate, okay? So it's a minimum of 24 weeks. Um, so don't feel like, don't feel like you have to be like, oh my gosh, if I don't have bukus of time in the next 12 weeks, it's over. No, no, sign up now and you'll still be done if you take the average of what's equivalent to two cohorts, right? 24 weeks you'll still be done before it opens for enrollment again. The, the best time to do anything is to just jump, right? People ask me, how did you know you were ready to have kids? I didn't, we just jumped and we figured it out our way down. You know, I had an interview this morning and um, these wonderful ladies were asking me about um, entrepreneurship and they were like, how do, you, how do you do it all? And I was like, in the eye of the hurricane, there is quiet, right? You know, am I a millennial if I don't quote Hamilton? Uh, but it, it's not that it's not crazy. It's not that there's a lot going on. So you carve out this little pocket here and there, and that's how you survive, right? <laughs> um, we're doing that in real life right now with the pandemic, right? Um, Jan's like, once I start, I can never stop at 15 minutes. I love that. Um, oh, Susie asked a really great question. I'm so glad you asked this. Susie if, uh, says, if you've signed up for the upcoming Free Motion Quilting Academy, should you wait for the 13th to work through the orientation videos and supplies? No, go ahead and watch those. Don't panic if you like sign up, you know, next week and you don't watch them right. Like if you don't watch them before the 13th, you are not behind. We don't believe in behind in Free Motion Quilting Academy. You are on your journey and you're right where you should be. But um, I do encourage you to go ahead and watch them um, because shipping is taking so much longer right now because of the pandemic. And um, it used to be <laughs> in a time and a galaxy long ago and far away that uh, we could start orientation and you could find out what supplies you needed on Monday and they could be at your house by Friday, at least for a lot of folks. And that's just not true anymore, right? Sometimes it's true, but it's not as predictable as it once was. So I would encourage you to go ahead and go through those orientation videos. Um, we will start letting folks into the Academy Facebook group not this weekend, but kind of the end of next week into next weekend, um, into Monday the 13th. I watched the Dolly Parton documentary last night and now I'm like playing with my nails after watching her do that. <laughs> um, but going ahead and ordering your supplies as much as you like can is really helpful, yeah. Um, yes, Maureen, I love that. 212 degrees is the same concept. At 211 degrees, water is hot. At 212, it is boiling. Yes, exactly. Um, a degree makes a difference just as 10 minutes does. Yes, yes, yes. Maureen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hijack that and use that as marketing copy at some point. That's fabulous. Um, preparation, yes. Ooh, Carrie, that's the other thing I was gonna say. Um, do your preparation for free motion quilting separate from your free motion quilting practice, right? Sometime like on a weekend, be like, I'm gonna take an hour and make like 10 practice sandwiches. And those are gonna be my practice sandwiches for the week right? And then anytime you're in your sewing room, if you know that the next time you come into your sewing room, the thing you're going to do is free motion quilting, 
before you leave your sewing room, put the foot on, thread the needle, set out the practice sandwich, put your gloves on top, right? So that you can walk into your sewing room, pull on your gloves, test your tension, and you're off to the races, right? Um, that was my big secret when I was, um, you know, the boys were really little and I was fitting in sewing time and like business building time and videoing free motion quilting academy time uh, into like nap time and like after bedtime is always making sure that the thing I needed to work on when I walked back into the room was set up before I left. And it's amazing the difference that that makes because that mental friction, this is true of like basically everything, right? That mental friction of like, I have to set it up before I even get to free motion quilt. You're like, I don't feel like changing the foot of my machine. Like that just sounds like a ton of work. And then you don't do it, right? Or you spend so much mental energy, like flip-flopping. I think I will, I think I won't. I think I do this, I do this about working out, right? I think I'm gonna work out. I don't know if I'm gonna work out. I think I'm gonna work out. I don't know if I'm gonna work out. And then I look at my, like my watch and it's been 25 minutes. And I'm like, if I had just gone and done the darn thing, I could have done a 20 minute ride and a five minute cool down and not still be having this conversation with myself, right? <laughs> so figuring out where we can reduce um, friction points, reduce little places for your IMG to sneak in and be like, yeah, but you practiced yesterday and it really didn't go so great. So like, why bother? You definitely can't do this. You practiced a little bit yesterday, you gained a little bit more experience. So your practice today will build on the practice yesterday and you will learn how to do this. Clearly I'm feeling sassy today, you know. Um, Deanna says, this is a great class and a great group of people supporting each other. Holly Ann is wonderful. Y'all are just, you know. Um, Estelle says, I'm gonna be a perpetual cohort member. Love it. And I'm enjoying everyone. Free motion quilting, ba my baby quilts and throws. I'm loving that I can do that with the few motifs I'm feeling confident with and working on the others as time permits. Thanks, Hacks, for the confidence and ability to keep plugging away. I love that. I love that. Um, Estelle brings up a really good point as far as you do not need to finish. You do not need to finish the course in order to be able to free motion quilt your own quilts. All right. Um, you learn in the first unit. So not the week of the 13th, because that's new student orientation. But the week after that, um, you learn meander, loopy meander, swirls, and switchbacks. You want to know what motifs are on this quilt? This semi-custom quilted quilt, meanders, switchbacks, and swirls, all right? So if you do this, listen, if you do this and you do unit one, let's say that's all you get done before the end of the year, but you are confident doing meanders, loopy meanders, swirls, and switchbacks, you can free motion quilt all your own quilts with those four. Now, you'll get bored of them eventually. That's why there's like 26 other motifs in the class, right? But the, the thing is, I am sassy today, Sue. I am. It's because it's I cried when I dropped Havana off. And when I cry, I get sassy afterwards. It's like an overcorrection. Um, <laughs> wow, that was like way more vulnerable than I planned. <laughs> um, but if you do unit one and you master those motifs, you are a confident free motion quilting rock star. You're a beginner confident free motion quilting rock star. And as you learn the rest of the motifs, you'll become an intermediate confident free motion quilting rock star. But like, you can do the dang thing and your inner critic can have a seat. Love it. All right, the sass is getting out of control. Uh, Lisa says, I took the class all the way through twice. Once on my domestic machine and then again, when I got to sit down longer, I might check it again. Yes, and Lisa's not the only person who's done that, which is super fun. Lisa was in the first cohort. So another OG rock star hanging out here. Love it. All right, my dear rock stars. Final call for questions. If you have questions about free motion quilting, if you have questions about free motion quilting academy, the important things you need to know about the academy, all right? This class works. Um, it is an investment, yes, but it is the same investment as sending just one, two, or three quilts off to the long armor, depending on how complicated of a quilting job you're getting done. Um, and you can you can finish all your own quilts. You can technically finish all your own quilts with just unit one. And there's a total of seven units inside this course. It's part of what makes me so excited about it, right? Um, sign up is open through Tuesday, September 7th. Uh, but for those of you who are um, here in the US and it is a holiday weekend, I encourage you, I, I encourage all of you, please go ahead and jump in because like the sooner you jump in, the sooner we get to celebrate that you've jumped in and like, if you're here and you've jumped in for this next cohort, 
holler at me in the comments because I'm going to make a big embarrassing hoopla about it before I sign off. Um, but I don't want the weekend to get away from you. I don't want you to miss this opportunity. I know that we are in a season um, that is heavy as a planet, right? And I know that one of the things, um, one of the things that I've been wrestling with even about offering this class right now is that adding one more thing to your plate feels really big, right? And the reason that I would say that it matters, the reason I think it's important that I'm offering this class right now, even when adding one more thing feels really big, uh, to be asking you to uh, add one more thing feels really big is because I've had so many rock stars and we put up a few on uh, Instagram and Facebook yesterday, share with me the difference that this course and this community have made in their lives over the last year and a half. To have folks to be working on a thing with, that just like after I had my kids and I had severe postpartum depression and just getting through the day was so hard, but at the end of the day, I got to quilt. And what was really exciting about that is that the quilting stayed done. When everything else felt unpredictable, everything else felt like it could fall apart and catch on fire at any given moment, the quilting stayed done and it kept me centered. And my hope and my prayer is that from my own experience, I can create a community for y'all that gives you a calm center and the eye of the hurricane, it is quiet, right? That together there may be a hurricane going on in this whole wide world. But that Free Motion Quilting Academy and the Quilting Rockstars community um, can be your moment of quiet and something that you get to invest in yourself, even as the world is asking so much of us. And the, the world is always asking a lot of us. It just feels really poignant right now as COVID continues, as an actual hurricane has caused so much pain and heartbreak, right? Um, the Academy is about Free Motion Quilting, but it's about a lot more too, all right? Let's see. All right. So there's a link in the caption, stringofstory.com forward slash FMQ Academy. Um, let's see. Rockstar t-shirts available to buy. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know how I did that. Ha! Huh, that's ex exciting. So Carrie did, um, hang on. I'm actually going to put that back up. If you're on Instagram, go find Carrie. Connect with Carrie. Also, I just discovered this magical thing that I can put your comments on the screen. What? Okay. We're good now. Um, Cassandra asked, now I'm hooked, y'all. This is a mess. Um, we do not have Rockstar t-shirts available online yet. The goal is to have them by the end of September. So they will look like this, but they will say Quilting Rockstar. And then um, mine has my name on the back. Uh, yours will just have the logo. So it'll have the String and Story logo on it, on the back. I'm lifting my hair. John told me I don't need to do that, but I keep forgetting. Um, all right. Annie has jumped in. Joni is new here. I do use Instagram, Maureen. Yes, great question. She says, see you in the academy. Yes, yes, yes. Jan says, join. You will love, love, love it. Uh, Susie, love the opportunity to join this com community. Susie, we are thrilled to have you. Um, oh, Lisa, that's a good idea. All right, Lisa wants pre-orders. All right, give me like a thumbs up or a high five in the chat if you want pre-orders. I will consider that. One, no, two of those shirts. Honestly, Jan, I want multiple ones um, because I want to go like crop one. Yeah, I want like three myself. So I understand the sentiment for sure. All right. I will definitely consider, I will consider pre-orders. <laughs> Heather is upstairs. She will be excited to hear that. <laughs> Love the yes. <laughs> The thumbs up. Yes, yes, yes. All right, rock stars. We will definitely look at that. It'll have to be next week at the earliest. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for letting me chat at and with you. Um, thank you for being excited about the shirt and for being excited about the Academy. Um, and special thanks to all of you uh, Academy rock stars who came out to chat about your experience. That is always so encouraging. Um, I can talk up free motion quilting Academy all I want to, but I'm hopelessly biased. So I love having y'all to come um, and share your experience and, and what it is like to get to learn and be part of this community. Um, and thank you as well to all of y'all who are new in the Academy. We are overjoyed to welcome you. There's already almost 130 of you. And I'm excited to welcome each and every one of you next Tuesday uh, by name as we have our welcome party. So in between now and then, go jump into the Academy. Again, I'm Holly and Knight of String and Story. It is my job to guide you to quilt with confidence. And you can join me inside Free Motion Quilting Academy by clicking the link in the chat, wherever the chat is, stringandstory.com forward slash FMQ Academy. Mwah.